Hi, this is Janet Wakeland with RemarkablyCreated.com and the Remarkable Stampers. I'm excited to bring you this training tutorial today that will show you how to move your embellishments within My Digital Studio to the stamp section. You'll want to learn this little trick so that now you can manipulate the colors of your embellishments. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. The first thing that you will need to do is you will need to locate My Digital Studio as a program on your computer. And the steps that you see me taking on the computer are what works for me in my digi uh, in Vista, and you will just need to see where yours are at on your computer. Once you've located My Digital Studio, you'll need to open the program, and we're going to zero in on components. Components is where all the good stuff is your designer papers, your backgrounds, your card stocks, your punches, stamps, and things like that. So we're going to open embellishments, and we're going to specifically work on crochet trim today because that's what I've gotten quite a few questions on. I recently posted two projects that included black crochet trim and espresso crochet trim. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight and we're going to copy. And we're going to back out of that. And now we're going to open the stamps category. And I encourage you to create a file that will help you readily locate this within the stamp, something that you'll remember. I personally chose to create a file that's labeled embellishments because that's what I'm doing is moving stamp, um, embellishments to stamps. And I'll remember them as the word embellishments. And now what you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to paste. Now mine already exists, so it's going to ask me if I want to copy and replace them. Anytime you see the word continue, just hit that. And now what you have done is you have effectively copied the crochet trim embellishments into a stamp category. We did not cut and paste because we want crochet trim to reside in both places, both under embellishments and under stamps. So now let's go ahead and let's open My Digital Studio and let's see what that looks like within your program. In My Digital Studio on the left hand side you have the resource palette. This is where all the goodies are. Your embellishments, your stamps, your punches, your papers, your design kits. And on the right hand side you have the design center. This is where um, you get told what you can do with all of your wonderful resources. And let's just look at embellishments for just a second. Currently in embellishments when I drag my crochet trim over to my work surface, I have this beautiful vanilla bow. Then my embellishment design center opens. The only thing that I can currently do with it is I can add a drop shadow, flip it around, and change the opacity. It does not allow me to go ahead and change the color of it. So what we have done, remember, is we've copied and pasted it into stamps. And for me, I have mine in a category labeled embellishments. We open that up, and we will find the Chantilly bow. Now watch what happens as I move it over. Two things. First, it transfers over black and then secondly, the design center for stamps opens. I love that the design center automatically knows what it is that I'm working on and brings up just the right box that I need to work in. So now I can go ahead and I can change the color. And let's make this a really pretty rich razzleberry color. I can also color match my ribbon to maybe an outfit that someone's wearing in a picture, flowers in a bouquet, greens in the landscape. In addition to the drop shadow, the rotating, and the opacity changes that I was able to do before. And don't limit yourself just to the crochet trim. Imagine all the fun that you're going to have now with your stitching in every color under the sun. Imagine your sweet little safety pins in soft pastels on, on baby cards. Your hodgepodge and some really bright, wild, and crazy colors, maybe you're doing a young teen's journal and you want some kind of bright color to really stand out or jump out. A couple of things to note, and let's just move a couple of one other over real quick. Let's go ahead and just change that into some kind of crazy, um, let's make it turquoise. A couple of things to note, not everything transfers well from the stamp image or from the embellishment section to the stamp section. Some things actually lose their detail. If you look over here on the left, you'll see that the paper daisies are white and they have this beautiful little detailing in the petals. When I transfer that over, I'm left with just kind of the outline of the image. Your crochet buttons lose their definition. Your antique brads lose their definition. Your cute little vintage buttons from um, the vintage trinkets just basically become round circles with two little holes in them. And then your ribbons. Your satin ribbon loses its sheen. Your grosgrain loses its definition your taffeta loses the border. Now you do want to consider, however, moving the ribbon over, even though it does lose the sheen or the definition, because again, now at least a bow, a knot, and a length of ribbon can become any color that you want it to be. 
just by simply um, clicking on the change color. And now, of course, you've got ribbon in any color that you would like it to be. So that's kind of a bonus for moving that over. So again, just something fun for you today that's going to open a whole new world for you in my digital studio, and that's transferring your embellishments into the stamp category. Happy creating, guys, and God bless.